Hello and welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can find out if your extension has been pinned into the extensions tray in the top right hand corner on Chrome. So it's just a couple of lines of code you need to add in that will check that user's settings for your extension to see if it's pinned or not. And then you can go ahead and then add extra onboarding messages or perhaps show them a little message in the extension to see if they want to pin the extension so it can you know, bring more benefits to them. So as you can see here on my screen now, I've got a little uh, example extension here it's called is pinned and I'll share um, the source code to this. It's only, like I say, it's very small, the actual code for this, but I'll share the source code in the description. So here's the extension over here. So if I just click um, on the menu, it's not pinned at the moment. So if I click on it, it's just a simple pop out extension that will tell me, is it pinned? No. So if I go ahead and pin it and then click it again, you can see, is it pinned? Yes. So all we have is a little bit of code that updates this uh, span over here. So it's just an H1 of a span. If it's pinned, we just say yes. If it's not, we say no. So I'll show you what the code looks like for this. Um, like I say, this is really, really simple, but it's quite a useful way of being able to make sure that users are actually pinning your extension, which, which is so important since Chrome added this option in for people to be able to pin extensions. If your extension is pinned, they're gonna be able to use it a lot more than if they didn't. So if we have a look at the code for this, um, we can see this code here. So all it does is it first, um, we get the settings, so from uh, await, so we do Chrome action get user settings, and then from here we can check a number of different things. So for example, is on toolbar is the actual way to check if our extension is pinned or not. So if this is true, we know that our extension is pinned. So for example, you might not want to do anything if your extension is pinned, but if it's not, this is where you can then show your message to the, your users to your users to actually encourage them to pin your extension and explain why this is beneficial to them. Um, that's what you need to do here. Now at the bottom here, you can see I've got this all running in function, but if you wanted to, you could have a button that they could click to see if it's pinned and then check again, but just, I can't think of any real need for doing that. Um, if it was a new tab extension, for example, you could have a little button they press if they had pinned it whilst they're still on that page, because obviously a pop-out extension, if they press that button, and then you pin it, it's gonna close. Clicking to pin, it's gonna actually close the pop-out. So it doesn't really make any sense having that here. But yeah, all you can see there is that's what that does. And I have my pop-out HTML, which like I say, just has a, a span here, which we update with either yes or no. So really, really, really simple. Um, but this is a useful way of actually getting more um, information about the actual levels users have gone to with your extension. Are they pinning it, are they not? And then you can sort of introduce this to your extension and track the ways that people are actually using your extension alongside with you know onboarding permissions stuff like that so it's quite a useful useful tool to use there but just to show you again this is what the uh, get user settings uh, object that it returns so at the moment you can see there's only one uh, option in here so i think what's probably going to happen with chrome is they're going to add a lot more parameters in here in the future so this get user settings function could be quite a useful method to use in the future as they start to add more options and settings in here. But as I say, at the moment, it's only is on toolbar, which is how you can find out if your extension is pinned or not. So like I say, it's very, very simple. If you've got any questions on how to use this though, please drop a comment on this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.